Splash Point is the first bit of Seaford we get to. You can walk round the corner to Rocky Ground and Seaford Head. Going by the local Coast Guard reports for here though, people always seem to need rescuing from round there due to either tide or rock falls, so watch how you go. This end of Seaford is known as the Deep End, but it's shallowing up as we go westwards towards Tide Mills. It can get very rough down this end, so if that is the case, it may be worth moving down to Tide Mills. On the subject of rough seas, Wave Boy data is available for Seaford. You can log onto the site and instantly see if the sea's building or if it's falling. You can also see what the trend is for the sea's temperature. Seaford's a brilliantly accessible beach to fish. There's plenty of free parking all along and you could choose to plot up anywhere. The Martello Tower is a natural meeting point with parking next to it and toilets plus a beachfront cafe close by. Most of the local anglers say Seaford's quite busy in the day, so fish is best at night. After a blow, around low tide for a short while and then again at high tide. As you move further down near the Salts Wreck area, access to the beach is by steps, but parking is again right next to it. Realistic seafood targets are mackerel, gars, pout, bass, sole, gurnard, doggies and place. Another popular area is the Buckle. There used to be a pub here called the Buckle. I remember sleeping overnight here as a kid waiting for the tide to coincide with dawn, about 1979. Got my first deal that trip, and there was a cafe round here as well. I was so tired when breakfast was served to me, I poured sugar on it instead of salt. And Dad made me eat it all as a lesson. Tough love. To our right towards New Haven is Tide Mills, slightly more protected within the bay and by the New Haven Sea Arms. You can walk it, but we'll drive round to it now. Some anglers choose Tide Mills when Seaford's a bit too choppy as it sits further back in the bay and is somewhat protected by New Haven Harbour. Clean sand here and most of the flatties are a good target with mullet, gars and mackerel coming in close as well. Your choice if you'd park here or instead take the long walk round from the buckle area. You can see from the signs there's obviously been cars done over in the past. If you do park here, the beach is over the level crossing and through the ruins. <laughs> 